and everybody knows that when it comes to an award show, it's all about the red carpet to see who's the real winners of the night, who they are. And joining us right now, I do have with me the good, the bad, and the ugly. Andrea McHugh from Newport Style File will be breaking it all down for us. And good morning. What do we have here? What are you thinking right now? Good morning. Well, overall, the red carpet was gorgeous. I mean, it was really refreshing, maybe because it's freezing here and we're all in our tights and black and gray. <laughs> know, but it was right? really a good, good night good for night. fashion. Okay, so first up we have Eva Longoria. Now, what was she wearing last she night? She was break that down gorgeous. For us. She was wearing Zach Posen, and everything was in all the right places. Her decolletage was, you know, it was really exposed, but it was also Beautiful. elegant. She had cap sleeves, which made her look wonderful. This was her Tony Parker. I hope it was worth it Absolutely. because that is beautiful. This is the last time you'll I see love me. The back. It was beautiful. I've seen a lot of wedding dresses with that back as well. The open back now, it's kind of a it's a shocking detail. Right. It adds a nice element. Okay, now Amy Adams. We have her up next. Did you like her? Did I you love not this. like her? This is my fashion dark horse. I'm not sure if you're going to see a lot of press on her today, but she was wearing this great Marquesa gown with the laser cut detail, went all the way from the shoulder to her hip with mm -hmm. detail. And um, she really played up uh, her skin tone and her right. hair color. This was a full package. And what do you think about the hair? Oh, I really think it looks loose. I mean, it's, what is nice is it's very right. natural. Sexy, this, romantic. This, right. this gown says a lot. This right. is really a strong gown. So she kind of balanced it with a nice soft okay. look. Now, the dress that you could not miss if you watched last night. Va, 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 boom. <laughs> Hello. January Jones, right? If we can see. Yeah. You could hear the jaws drop when yeah. she got out of she that looks limo. great. Oh, my she goodness. Does. And what's really nice about this dress, I and mean, of course, everything's strategically placed with those cutouts, but yeah. um, she had the full look. She had this beautifully coiffed hair, the red Chanel lip. I mean, she really knocked them out. And of course, we cannot forget about our Glee girls. If you take a look right there. Oh, can... Glee really came. Um, wow, they really pretty. brought it. Um, Diana here, she is in Jay Mendel. This was a really hot um, color last yeah. night. Nudes, pales, pinks. But I think she did it best. She almost evoked old Hollywood. This Veronica mm -hmm. Lake hair was pulled mm -hmm. back. It was light. She looked exquisite. So we've seen different colors, though, already. We've seen, you know, white. We saw the red. Mm. I mean, is there any color scheme we're kind of going with right now or that a lot of girls showed up in? A lot of this nude and pale. Um, yeah. Calvin Klein was very in like, light pale. Right. But then there was also a lot of nice contrast with green. Right. Green was hot too. And then if you take a look right there, that's our final one right there. Mm. Leah Michelle, she was an Oscar de la Renta. She right? was an Oscar de la Renta. This asymmetrical ruffle was very flattering. She's been doing just a really great job for a young lady on the red carpet. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not surprised if Oscar okay. de la Renta is calling her her muse. And the most exciting part, quickly if we can get to it, the worst dressed if we can uh, go to those right now. Misses. Michelle <laughs> Williams, right, you say? She was really disappointing. I mean, she usually looks really wonderful. She stays away from trends. She's not, not afraid to wear something hair. different. Yeah. Um, this was Valentino, so it was shocking because I've never met a Valentino I didn't love, but a little flower power, just not my favorite. Right, and another surprise, if we can bring that one up there, right there, Leeton Meester, right? She's in Burberry, and, um, you know, she's so young, uh, the hair was great, the makeup was great. The dress, though, I just thought it was a little too Victorian, a little mm. too Little House on the Prairie. I mean, she right. usually, she can get away with something a lot more bold. Right, I think so. Well, mm. there we go. Yes. Thank you, Andrea, for Great. joining us. Thank and you. And to check out Andrea's list of honorable m mentions <laughs> from the Golden Globes, all you have to do is head to foxprovidence.com.